What it do, GG Squad? What it do, GG Gang? What it do, GG Family? It's your girlfriend, Womack, and I am back with another video today. And currently, guys, it is... I woke up to use the bathroom and this funny memory popped in my head and I bust out laughing. Once I bust out laughing, it was a wrap. I'm up, you girl up. So I'm up, I just wanna share this story with you guys, okay? And this story is funny. It's gonna knock your socks off. It's gonna knock you out your seats. So make sure you go get your popcorn, get your juju peas, get your pop. And some people like eating cotton candy when they listen to a story time or watching a movie. So whatever you choose to eat, go get it. But come, come back. Yeah, come back. But before you go, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And tell them, I'm funny, Womack, and I'm funny, okay? I right, go get y'all stuff, because I'm ready to tell the story, so my throat kind of itching. All right, y'all, I am back, and I hope you guys sitting down with your popcorn and your pop and your popcorn and your jujubes. Okay, so anyway, yesterday, which was the 11th, October 11th. Um, so yesterday when I went to work, I do the early morning shift. In the hood, in the ghetto, it's ratchet AF in that piece. Yeah. That thing off the shizang, off the meat rack. Yeah, anyway, so let's get into the story. So my shift started at 8 o'clock. So I get there, I clock in, I put my stuff down. And I proceed to count my register. Boom. So I'm counting my register, minding my midnight. E. By the time I look up, it's 7.59. So boom, finish counting my register, close it. My um GM, the Picahuna, him, this that mother, him. So I um he go open the doors and what well, unlock the doors, open the window doors, and you know, we open up. So, um, I remember these first three customers. I'm always going to remember the first few customers that come in. So, it was a guy and two girls. Well, they come in separately. First, a guy came in. Then, a girl came in. Then, another girl came in. So, are we talking about this third girl. So, when a third girl came in, me and a big kahuna, we were standing up front. I'm about to describe the girl to y'all. So, the girl, she was brown-skinned. She had these pretty long braids that looked expensive. Um, she had a real pretty face. Lashes was beat. Eyebrows was on fleek. I don't think she had no makeup on. Uh, because I, cause, yeah, I don't think she had any makeup on. But she had on a nice little two-piece set. The girl was basically snatched. She looked like she was in a gym. And she was driving a 2022 Lexus, okay? So she coming in there. I always greet the customers. I says, good morning. No response. The big kahuna be want us to get everybody bag. So I noticed her bag, but it wasn't a bag. It was like a pocketbook. Small, medium, large pocketbooks. Everybody wear different shapes and sizes. So if the girl got a pocketbook, the girl got a pocketbook. I know what a pocketbook look like between the book bag and the duffel bag and the trash bag and the glad bag. I know. So that's why I didn't sit it to the girl about the pocketbook it was one of those long pocketbooks y'all know those little it wasn't even a it probably wasn't even a pocketbook it looked like a little bag y'all know those little bags that y'all granny carry that they you that they put their yarn in i guess when they traveling from house to house one of them long little cloth looking bags 
That's what she had. So she came in, she was clutching that bag tight. She had her hands right here, had the bag over her shoulder. And she was clutching that bag because she knew. She walk up the first aisle, she walk around because I guess she going to go walk to see what she was looking for. So she walking around the whole store like, I'm making my way around the store, walking fast, pacing slow because I'm so scared. But that's the way she was walking. It was like she was walking erratic. She was like, you know how like when you step on a roach and it's dead, but it's not dead. It still got some brain function. Dude, roaches got brains. But anyway, don't y'all know like when y'all kill a roach. No, no, no. Y'all know like when y'all spray raid on a roach and that take off. Or even a spider when y'all spray raid on them and they take off like running erratic like ee! like that that's how that girl was um walking around the store just like power walking or whatever so this girl in there for about a good 10 minutes so i see the big kahuna he walks off i don't know if he back there ready to go spy on the girl or what he about to go do holler at the girl he like a hawk in the sky y'all this dude will see an ant so he Mm, be line lock eyes on her mm, go straight up that hour she at or whatever so i see him walking down the aisle you feel me? i see him pass like at least two hours or whatever then he comes back to the front and come back and run the counter well no he don't come behind the counter he comes stand beside me on the other side of the door so the girl finally come back up to the front so I'm bringing her um stuff up. She got one thing, y'all, and it was some um, motor oil, some car motor oil. So the pickle on the heat right here on this side of me, you feel me? He like, yeah. So he right standing right here, and I look over. I see him on the phone. He like, yeah, okay, I'm going. I'm on it. Hang up and nigga walk off like Terminator. I said, oh. He ready to do some damage. I wonder who else in this. Oh! So he walks up to the girl right here at the register. This baddie, this pretty baddie that just walked up here that dry this 2022 Lexus. Hey, ma'am, um, I just got the phone call that um, I would need to check your purse. And she said, what? Check my purse? What What would you need to check my purse for? And she was nice about it. She wasn't real. She wasn't nasty. And she had like a little pleasant smile on her face like this. She said, what? Check my purse. What you need to check my purse for? Hold up. All right, so she was like, let me back y'all up like juvenile. What's that about? All right, so she was like, what? What you need to check my purse for? <laughs> I just trying to give me some motor oil. <laughs> Stop playing. Is you playing with me? Is you playing with me? And I thought he was playing with her too, y'all. So he like, ma'am, um, can I check your purse? She was like, what you need to check my purse for? <laughs> Is you playing with me? Mind you, y'all, she was making a payment and two payments. So, in the midst of all her going through her wallet, looking for her car with her $2.35 on it or $0.53 on it, the man, the big kahuna, down on her by her purse. Mind y'all, I don't know what the hell going on. Why he asked about her purse? Why he just came up with this bright idea in his head to act like he got a phone call to go in this girl's purse? So, I'm just like... Okay, I'm just listening and like he playing with this baddie. This baddie ain't in here stealing. So he asked her again, ma'am, can I go in your purse? Tell me why this lady, what this girl, she looked like she's about 32, 33. Tell me why this girl go in her purse and pull out motor oil. Yeah. He pulled out some motor oil from out the girl purse. So I'm like. I was shocked. I said, not this baddie. I thought this baddie was coming here standing on business. And then, now that I think about it, she did come in and she stood on business. Because listen to the story. 
So I'm shocked. Like, dang, you coming here stealing motor oil. I mean, you cool? You good? You need some help? Is she struggling, baby? I didn't say this to her. I was thanking these things, so. And then she was like, <laughs> here, man, here. I, I mean, I couldn't afford two, but at least I bought one. He was like, yeah, since she was sister, I ain't going to put the white people on you. I'm just extra. don't come back into the store. She was like, all right, let me just pay the rest. How much? I said two fifty two fifty three. She said, all right. So, boom. He gets the motor on you back. She was like, oh, man, at least I paid for one. I just couldn't afford two. <laughs> that don't do me like that. And the whole time, she had a smile on her face. Um, She was she was happy. She was cheerful. She was joyful. She wasn't, like, mad or upset. She probably was a little embarrassed, but she she took it well. She handled that pretty good versus how the crackhead would have handled it. They would have got mad, cussed you out, fussed you out, said, oh, about you, called you all kinds of black big bag billion ma'am you got more uh motor oil in that bag she said no i ain't got no more come on now you're just doing too much now you now you're just doing too much she was like ma'am can i check your bag again she was like i just gave you one and i'm buying one what you need to see in my bag well girl you wasn't here stealing down that's a big bag and it looks like you need this motor oil so he asked her again can i see what's in your bag Hey, y'all, I turned my back for a millisecond. This girl pulls out two more things of motor oil. I'm like, oh, this bitch in here stand on business for real. So, in total, she had four quarts of motor oil. She paid for one. She stole three. So, he was like, oh, oh, oh. See, no. See, you a black sister, and I ain't trying to put the white people on you. So, I'm going to just ask you just not to come back in my store. She said, I don't come in here like that. She said, I'm just in here because I had to drop my son off at school. He was like, well, yeah, you just, when, whenever you on this side of town, don't look this way. Don't look at us. Don't even look to see if we open. Keep it going. And she said, all right. And even after all that, y'all, he still went out there and helped her put that one quart of motor oil you in her car. He was nice. He busted the girl stealing, let her leave, and still helped her put that motor oil you in her car. That was like a blessing in disguise because she really didn't even know how to put motor oil you in the car. So I don't know. I guess she got <laughs> it sound like a win-win situation to me. You was in there stealing, but he said he ain't gonna send you to jail. He ain't gonna put the police on you. You just gotta go. But um, even before they walked out the door and he helped her put the oil in her car, he was like, well, let me ask you this, ma'am. Why are you in here stealing anyway? She was like, because my man am locked up for three years and he told me do what I got to do. So, guys, I guess he told her, hey, if you got to go out there and steal it, steal it. I come from behind the counter and look at the door. This girl got a nice ass Lexus. I'm like, dang, baby. But anyway, y'all, um, I hope I didn't miss out no parts because that was just like crazy. I was like, wild. My jaw was on the floor like this. Yeah, I was like, hell nah. But anyway, I mean, times is hard. Right. You do what you got to do. But dang, I don't know, but. That was funny, y'all, and that's what got me up. So, right now, I'm about to edit this video because it's short. So, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with all your little friends. Are you little ball hit friends? Because I'm funny, we're making it funny. All right, y'all.